meat instruments and Orion telescopes are gone. They are out of business. They've closed their factories, employees have been fired, all the assets has been sold. They're not going to be creating any more telescopes. What the hell happened? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Okay, this story is a bit of a mess, so listen up, because this could get a little complicated. Mead Instruments was founded in 1972 by John Dybel. Back then, they were a mail order company. You would basically, they were doing like mail order for telescope parts from another company. But four years into the company's existence in 1976, they created their first refractor telescopes. They created a six and an eight inch refractor telescope, I believe. And which were their first like, own created telescopes that they were now offering to the public. In 1980, so again four years later, they created their first Smith Cassegrain telescope, which I think is what Meade is mostly known for. At the time, it was really only Celestron that was pretty much dominating that market. So all of a sudden, they came in strong to the market, giving Celestron some, um, some rival. And they are rivals. <laughs> they have, there have been rivalries between those two companies for a long time. Meat instruments were doing quite well for themselves in the 80s, 90s, and in the early 2000s. In October 2013, Meat Instruments merged with a Chinese electronics manufacturer called Sunny Electronics. So from this point on, Meat Instruments is basically just a sub-brand under Sunny Electronics. They're just a, an IP, basically, that they own. So moving forward to 2019, all of a sudden, Sunny Electronics gets sued by a company called Optronics Technologies. Who's Optronics? Optronics is another Chinese company that owns the brand Orion Telescopes. So Orion Telescopes sues Meat Industries. Why do they sue Meat Industries? They sue them because they think they are basically price fixing the prices for telescope equipment together with another company called Sunta Optical Technologies. Now, who is Sunta Optical Technologies, you ask? Well, this is, again, another Chinese company. Originally, when they were created, they were just creating um, like eyepieces for telescopes, and then they were not not selling them themselves. They were just like selling. They were just basically giving. They were basically manufacturing them for for Celestron. So they were manufacturing eyepieces, and Celestron were then selling them under the Celestron brand. But they later on decided to create their own brand called Skywatcher. Orion Telescopes ends up winning this lawsuit, and. Orion Telescopes is now paid damages from Meat Industries to a total value of just over 16 million US dollars. Right after this lawsuit, Sunto Technologies, the owner of Meat, they file for bankruptcy. They can't pay the bill, basically. They don't have the money to pay 16 million to a competitor, so they file for bankruptcy. What happens then is they actually get saved at the very last minute, and they, someone comes in and buys them, and the one who buys them is Optronics. <laughs> so Optronics own Orion, Optronics sue Sunta, Sunta files for bankruptcy, and then they go in and basically buy them up. So now we have Optronics that sits on both Orion telescopes and meat industries. And um, here in 2001. And this is where things begin to go south, because obviously meat industries is not doing too well at the time. Um, they're strapped for cash. They've already been selling out part of their business to, um, uh, to other brands around the world. And all of a sudden here, right on the tail end of COVID, and that means a few years later, Optronics, they filed for bankruptcy as well. They just couldn't survive the supply chain, chain issues. And in the summer of 2024, they closed down all the uh, manufacturing plants where the uh, Meat and Orion telescopes were manufactured. All the employees were laid off. And in the December last year, in 2024, all the assets that were available, all stock that were available, were just auctioned off to the highest bidder, basically. And that leaves us where we are now. Meat Industries and Orion telescopes are gone. There are going to be produced no more telescopes. So what you can get is what the different stores still have in stock. They're not going to be able to restock once it's sold out. I know that a lot of you guys are going to be really bummed about this, myself included. I really like Meat Industries and their products, the telescopes they've been making. I have three of their telescopes right now. Um, probably going to hold on to them actually now for a while. Maybe they're going to go up in price now that the people can't get them because I know they have a large fan base. So. This really 
sucks to be honest, but that's unfortunately the sad news. So this is a Meat LXD75. I got this second hand. It's a six inch Newtonian and there's a guy here who is selling a Meat ETX LT. This is one of their like um, chroma free 